review Ricky Gervais' afterlife is the tear-jerking of a clown The New York Times When Ricky Gervais comes out with a new project, the big question is which one of him made it. There's Bad Rick, The Office, a lacerating cringe comedy with a humane spirit, synthesized Gervais' two sides into greatness. Since then, in his stand-up comedy and public appearances, he plays the anti-PC truth-teller, saying what he thinks everyone thinks. In his TV series, the two pervases you the angel and devil sitting on his own shoulders you uneasily swap custody of Afterlife, which arrives on Netflix on Friday. The dark comedy, Gervais plays Tony, a small-town journalist whose wife of 25 years has died of cancer. His grief curdled, you can't just go around being rude to people. Protests Matt Tom Bassman, his milquetoast boss and brother-in-law. You can. The final season of Game of Thrones arrives April 14th. Before then, and boy, does he. After life, Tony meets a succession of people who deserve to be told off, and then he tells them slovenly and batty co-workers. Sanctimonious, dumb, dumb, dumb. Lazy, late, Tony is essentially bad Ricky protected by grief armor. He is, like, there is a transgressive thrill to how Tony punctures mindless niceties. A 93 year, but you might also feel that Tony is being gratuitous, that there is a social value to well-meaning pieties and cutting people slack. After life agreed, Tony wasn't always a bad sort, we learn through his late wife, Lisa Carey Godwaman, who recorded a series of videos in her last days to help him move on without her. Lisa, by all appearances, was amazing, so much so that she doesn't quite seem real. Their marriage is just after life, is full of thinly drawn figures who exist to repeatedly tell Tony and us what a good person he is a sagacious widow, a wide-eyed new co-worker, a good-hearted hooker and a kindly nurse in Tony's father's elder care home Ashley Jensen of Extras You a significant character who is nonetheless so underdeveloped she's identified in the credits simply as nurse. The best moments of afterlife come when Bad Ricky and Saint Ricky work together. Tony's visits to, it's a shame, because despite the formulaic turns, Gervais is trying something interesting you to interrogate the worldview that has become Bad Ricky's public shtick. Gervais has retreated after life, on the other hand, argues that just because you're offensive, it doesn't mean you're right, either. The show makes a case, it shouldn't be, but we can all use the reminder. And it is something to- Hot I get fucking on your bitch, yeah, that, that, that. Looking up, open the park, pot, pot.